there guys. Today I'm going to be showing slash telling you a little bit about uh, what I've been doing in my work bullet journal lately. Um, first, go ahead and check out the video that I posted previously about my work bujo. Um, at that time, I was using a composition notebook and a sort of color coding by day kind of system. Um, and all of that is interesting and potentially useful if you're looking for some ideas, um, but I've actually moved away from the way I was doing it previously. I have some new systems that I've been using for at least a year, I think now, um, and so I wanted to show you what I've been doing. Again, obviously, I'm not going to be able to show you my actual work bullet journal because all of that has, you know, information that I'm not able to just give you here on YouTube, but I will show you a little bit of how it's set up using um, this moleskin that was um, my previous bullet journal back in 2016. It has some blank pages in the back and I'm going to show you a little bit of the setup that I use. So I am in a moleskin right now at work. Um, I only just started in the moleskin this week uh, because I filled up my previous notebook, which was also an A5. It was also black, but it was a different brand. It was called Sigil. Um, I got that one because I was able to order it from Staples um, and I don't see it on their on the Staples website anymore. Uh, I'm not sure where you can find it. Um, here's a picture if I can find one. It's very similar, A5 size. It has this weird texture on the front of it, which I kind of like. Um, I like that it has numbered pages as well. Um, the Moleskine does not have numbered pages, so I have to start numbering my own pages again. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go top down and show you a little bit of how I set it up and how I use it at work. So these are just the last couple of pages in this notebook and I'm going to kind of show you how I set up. Um, I use at work a um, Papermate Flare and a Pilot G2, but this is what I have on me right now. So first we start with my monthly setup, which is just a basic bullet journal. So you'll see I put a space of one day, uh, one line between each week um, and so I have just the weekdays because obviously I only work during the week and I don't need um, to have the weekends on here and it helps kind of split things up um, so as I you know focus on the projects I need for that week. And so at the beginning of the month I'll go through and I have a spread at the beginning of my journal that lists um, like all of my duties and it's categorized by things I have to do weekly, monthly, whatever is at the beginning of every month I go ahead and I fill it out and I'll put like the days that I have to put in my timesheet and just like reminders for every single thing so that I don't forget as if things are busy I still want to make sure that I don't forget to like send out the interdepartmental mail every Friday for example and obviously if it's a holiday that gets marked as well. Then on the other spread here I kind of fold very lightly to figure out where the middle of the page is and then break it into four sections. So all of the tasks that don't have a specific day that I want to assign them to get put on this grid. And so if it's urgent, it goes in the top half. If it's important, it goes in the left half. So I focus on these things and then these things and then this way. Um, so there's a lot of projects on here that are things that I've just been putting off, things that, like I need to reorganize the file drawer, stuff like that that doesn't matter. But if I have extra time, I'll pick one of these. I've gotten a couple of them done since I created this system and it's working. When I say created this system, I did not come up with this. I want to say it was like Eisenhower, is that correct? Um, if you know, comment below. It's a pretty well-known um, concept of categorizing your to-dos this way. And so this is my monthly spread. And then on the next section, or the next page, I do the same thing on both sides. So I'm just going to do it on this one side to kind of show you. Um, this is where I keep track of one, like the major half of what I do at work is this one task where I um, enter all of the billing information for new contracts and for renewals. So this is where I keep track of all of that and here's how I do it. Thank you. 
So this grid is where I keep track of all of the incoming things I need to do. So say I received um, a new contract paperwork on the first. Um, I'll put who it's for, you know, the customer. I'll put the region, say it's in region two. Um, if it's a brand new contract, I'll put an asterisk here. And then whenever it starts, say it's starting on the 15th, I'll put that in this column here because um, it's starting like by, I need to get it done by the end of this week. Um, and so I put the dates up here. The first column will be for um, the current week that I'm starting on this particular spread. And then if anything comes in that's like late, say the next day I get something in um, that's past due, like say it was supposed to renew back in July. That goes on this arrow. And then the next day something comes in for uh, that's like really early, um, say it'll you know come in it's supposed to renew in October, then that goes in the arrow this direction. And so every week I assign a color. Um, I have a set of like Sharpie highlighters that I go through, um, but basically I will go through like in rainbow order usually. And so as I get them done, so I, I do this one, say I get it, you know, processed on the second, um, then I'll put an X in this column and then I will highlight in the color of the week that I get it done in like this. So as I look over it quickly, I can see, okay, the blue um, column here Anything that uh, I get done that week, I can see like, oh look, I got ahead that week, I got behind that week, or like I did, um, I got a lot of things that came in, I needed to get caught up that week. If I'm seeing um, like a lot of red in this column, that means I'm behind, right? Because the things from the purple week got done in the red week instead. And then at the end of each week, I put a line across this direction. and I'll put a little stripe down the column for that week to kind of demarcate it as well. So that's how I kind of keep track of it. It works in my brain. Um, I'll go through and first I'll do things that are late. Um, well, maybe first I'll do things that are renewing that week because if they sent in the PO on time, I want to get it done um, like in a reasonable time before it renews so it can bill in time. Then I'll do things for the ones that are sent in late. Then I'll do things that are due next week. And then I try to do them in the order they came in. Because if somebody sent in a PO for October back in June, like I don't want them to, it to wait until October and then potentially even be late if something comes up. I just don't want to get them done in the order they're received. But late POs and renewals that are happening this week tend to take precedence. So if any of that makes sense or gives you ideas, I hope that that helped. <laughs> Other than that, my dailies are super simple. I just do a header with my color for the month and then just rapid log in normal pen. Um, I sometimes will include these things on my daily. Other times I'll just put billing and then I'll refer back here and just really work off of this page. Um, I also make a point of taking notes in my journal and I really make a lot of good use out of the index in the front. Anytime that uh, my manager comes up and says, okay, here's how we're going to do a new system in our, in our database. Here's how we need to do it. And I'll take notes and then I will make sure to index that. I'll even just, I'll take notes right on my daily and then I'll index that so that later when I go, oh, what was it? What were the fields I needed to fill out? I can look at my index, pull up the day that I learned about it, um, and then, you know, go straight from there. And then whenever I move into a new notebook, like I just did, like I said, I just started in a new Moleskine. I went through and everything that was indexed that was still relevant, I put in the front, um, I have like one page that's all full of little notes like that. Um, so instead of having them like spread throughout dailies, they end up in the front. And then I also got rid of a couple that were irrelevant or um, outdated. And that's basically what I do is I have this really useful grid that helps me visualize the main thing that I do at work. And then also I take notes and I make sure to use that index. Um, and it just sort of becomes a really in, um, invaluable resource for me to remember how to do what I do.
So I hope you found some of that useful, I gave you some ideas to use for your own bullet journal at work. If you enjoy this content and want to see more bullet journal stuff, I post videos twice a week, Thursdays and Sundays, so don't forget to subscribe below so that you don't miss any of those, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.